You already know what it is, man. man Punch. I got a lot of things to talk about today. Make sure you subscribe. Drop a comment. I just want to understand. Make sure that I'm not that I'm not the one bugging, because I'm starting to think that I'm the one bugging, and I don't know. They have this album, let's get to it. Everybody's already spoke about exactly what it is. If nobody is unsure, the line that we're going to refer to is simple. These bitches lie about getting shots, but she thinks she is stallion. Now, my thing is simple, okay? I don't have too much differences of opinions on this. But my real statement is this, okay? Okay? These bitches lie about getting shots, but they think they a stallion. Now, my only defense when I first heard it was, whoa, that was a sting. And then as I sat down and I let my mind go on for a moment and be like, damn, Drake, wow. Then come the people who are going to break it all down. Lil Yachty, who's co-produced a bunch of the records on the album, um, her loss with 21 Savage went on his live and spoke about it and said that Drake is not talking about Megan. That's one. Cool. He says it doesn't totally just mean that. But nonetheless, Drake also says the stallion. Now, as we famously know, women who get like really thick in the culture, we call them like, yo, she's shaped like a stallion, which is why that's Megan the stallion. Because Megan's six feet and thick, cut that way. So then people probably called her a stallion, so now she made her name Megan the Stallion. She does not own the word. But nonetheless, right? We're gonna be, we're gonna be fair on it. So the record comes out, everybody starts going, yo, Drake is this thing, you know, because I know that allegedly, you know, Tori is the one who shot Megan. Allegedly, right? Cool. That's what she says. Tori says different. Cool. I thought that in the court of law, until someone is uh, found guilty, then we found out who was what. No? Yes. Now, because there's so many different parts of the story, this one says this, this one says this, her friend said this, he said this, so many different stories, I'm like, let me just wait. Because he says no, she says yes. At the end of the day, at this point, I am nor judge, nor was I there, nor have I seen footage to say different. So until the court system tells me what happened, I'm in the air. And it's not even about what I believe and what I don't. My frustration to the matter is this. What I believe Megan went wrong was this. If Drake said this in an interview, let's be clear. If Drake said this in an interview, Drake is totally wrong. It's not funny. It's not a joke. Because it's realistically like something that's in the court system is not cool. But Drake, a rapper, says something that inferred Another rapper was not telling the truth. Inferred. Now, if that rapper, as Megan, who felt offended, felt offended, then why is Megan not responding on rap? This is my only confusion. Megan is a rapper rapper. She raps. She has bars. If she felt that Drake played her, if she felt Drake violated, why go on Twitter? Why are you doing this? What's going on? I don't get it. I don't understand why they're trying to make this about men not protecting black women. Like, it's a rap song. He also didn't say Megan's name. It was a subliminal. They said that it's about Elk the Stallion. Yachty has said it's about stallions in general. Elk the Stallion, if you are unaware, was a famous like magazine uh, eye candy model years ago. Go Google her. You get me? They said that Drake has commented and liked some shit years ago with Elk. Believable. She's thick. Light skin. She has the bubble. Seems like Drake's taste. So I don't doubt it. I also know that Megan's not the only stallion in the world. Let's just say, it. again, I'm not even violating Megan. I don't want anybody to think I'm just picking a side. I'm just saying, if Megan felt a way, I don't know why she went on Twitter to say, stop using my shooting for clout, bitch-ass niggas. Since when the fuck is it cool to joke about women getting shot? You niggas, especially rap niggas, are lame. Ready to boycott about shoes and clothes, but dog pal on a black woman when she say one of y'all homeboys abused her. 
I'm baffled. Who's dogpiling? He said a line, and this is my whole point. If he said a line that she did not feel on a rap song, then why is no one's mood telling her, Megan, get in your bag and go diss the nigga. If you think Drake is lame, cool. I swear, this is not a defend Drake. This is more like, yo, we're in rap. Since when has everything we rap about become so hypersensitive? Megan, go get him. Huh, I'm not wailing. Megan, go get Drake. Go get him. Go chew him up. Drop the verse. If it ain't, like, like it's, it's not, no one... Drake could say, Megan the Stallion, you're a liar, and it wouldn't change the court case. He's not, cha he can't, like, he didn't say that. He said the Stallion, and if you fell away with the sub, then shoot the shots back at him. I'm, cr why is no one saying, go rap? And why is, if Drake, like, hip hop is not a man sport. It's not a woman sport. Everybody can rap. She makes millions of dollars from rap. Millions of dollars from rap. I actually think Megan knows how to rap quite well. So nobody confused with what I'm saying here at all. I'm just baffled at why no one goes, Megan, go shoot at Drake. Go send some shots. Send some songs, send some verses. Call them lame. Call them corny. Call them rap niggas that are lame. All of this shit. He subs you, sub him back. Yo, y'all trying to dogpile a bitch, trying to jump on me. Sub him back. Now, now, drop your comments if y'all agree with me. I just want to know, is this crazy to literally think, why doesn't she respond back with raps? Let me proceed. If y'all didn't see the tweets, they're ridiculous in my opinion. I think they're ridiculous. i never seen a rapper be, I, I never, I don't know why it's okay in rap to respond on Twitter if someone, because I'm going to address Drum. Y'all know Drum from the Cha Cha Slide? Oh, I am not rocking with this guy. I'm not at all. And I'm going to get to that in two seconds. But him, I'm going to let him have it too. When motherfucking facts come out, remember all y'all whole-ass favorite rappers that stood behind a nigga that shot a female. Um, I, I, okay, so what does that exactly mean? Like, so, and I just want to be clear. Megan wants everybody to not believe anybody else but her story and then go, yo, if you rocked with that guy in the interim before us finding clarity, I want y'all to persecute them. I swear I'm confused. I swear I'm confused. This is not about women. It's not about black women. It's just about like, like, what? If it comes out that Tori shot Megan, if it comes out, Tori is wowing, Tori's going to get jail time. We already know this. He's going to finish himself. But if we don't know yet, why are you then, why is it like, yo, y'all, yeah, remember that y'all stood by him. People are going to stand by people until they know the truth. I'm, uh, this is, people attack me. Y'all go up for it. I defend myself and now I'm doing too much. I don't think, I think where you're doing too much is that you're tweeting about it versus going on record and recording about it. That's what, I, I don't think you're, I don't think anybody, if you wanted to make an album dissing Tory or dissing Drake or doing anything you want, you're an artist, go express yourself. But any artist that runs to Instagram or runs to Twitter or Facebook or TikTok to speak when they're rappers, I will forever look at like it's a joke thing. I swear to God, I forever look at it like it's a joke thing. You're a rapper, you're a wordsmith. Like when you're a rapper, like drop bars, spit some smoke. I'm not even bo I'm not even joking. Every time it never ends and this did not happen until I came out and said I got shot. Y'all don't fuck with me. Okay, cool. Fuck it. Bye. Like, why are you tweeting? If you feel like Drake doesn't fuck with you, then Drake might not fuck with you. Then go diss him or call him a sucker on the next record. It's all fair and games. We're in rap. This is an aggressive sport. People diss people all the time. What are we talking about? Yo, I'm, I, I swear to y'all, I'm, I'm lost. I listen to, I listen, I look on YouTube. I see Ebro, Hot 97. Ebro usually is extremely sensible with the positions he takes. He's usually extremely. And when he's like, he said, it's massage noir. Now I'm assuming I might be uneducated on that use of the verbiage. I'm assuming it's relating to misogyny. 
and I'm assuming that it's relating to men not feeling like women have power and equal rights and all of this, which kind of still blew my mind. Like if Drake wanted to just say a rap and then everybody on the stage, yeah, this was weird. Yeah, bad timing. What? Like, yo, it's just weird, man. And then he was just like, yo, Drake is wanting to go at black women who are the most unprotected women in the world. Like, I don't understand how, I don't get it. I, I, I don't understand. Black women are the most unprotected women in the world. I agree. I just don't know how Drake went at black women by making a, a, a subliminal bar that's quite witty about girls with ass shots, girls doing this, and the play on words, if it was a double entendre or it's a triple, but it's enough to just hang on the first line alone with women with butt shots talking like a stallion. And if he was dissing Megan, then go diss him back on a song. I don't understand why if Drake, this is some, like, Drake, this is, Drake, this is everybody, he's this Pusha T, he said shit about Hov, he said shit about Kanye, this is what rappers that are mad nice do, J. Cole this a little punk, J. Cole this one, Kendrick this big shot, this is what rap is about, this is what rap is about, yo, I'm the best, bow, hold that, you're getting too close, okay, bet. Woo -hoo. bars, Woo. boom, hold that, this is what rap is about, so I'm baffled that if a rapper says something that makes someone uncomfortable, why don't they just go and go rap about it? That's all I want to know. I want to hear the comments. I want everybody just understand if Drake dissed Megan and Megan feels a way and Drake dissed her on song, on song, on the 21 Savage album with him, her loss, if he dissed her on that song, why is Megan or anyone not saying, Megan, go diss him back on your song? Why is everything up? Oh, He's dissing black women. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I do not believe that Drake dissed her because she's a black woman. I do not believe it. And I think that this narrative is unhealthy and it's ridiculous for rap to try to push this. I think it's ridiculous. And all the media personalized that's pushing this narrative, like Drake is attacking because it's a black woman, I think is ridiculous. I, I, I think it's ridiculous. That's just how I look at it. It's, it's out of control. Now, we're going to get to this drum thing really, really simple. Drum. The artist from the cha-cha slide. We all know we had the record. They had the whole back and forth. They felt like Hotline Bling was just... We know the whole thing. Drake shoots shots at drum. Talking about, yo, with the cha-cha slide. Push come to shove. Drum went on the internet and said, Drake security guards washed them up. It happens. I'm not joking you on none of that, bro. None of that. What I'm mad at drum about is why is drum when Drake disses you, yo, Drake diss me, blah, 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 blah. What is this about? Why do we keep forgetting that we are a part of rap? We are a part of the hip hop culture. If drum, if you felt a way, the biggest artist in the world just said your name, go put out a song. Go put out a song. Why do y'all go on the internet and go, yo, if I see you, I'm a fight. Yo, when I do this, what is wrong with y'all? We are in rap. Go rap. Go rap. Why does everybody go to their phone first? Go rap. Y'all losing your mind. Y'all losing your mind. And this is why, yo, this is, yo, man. If the number one guy, let me tell you something. This is, I, I, let's take my own advice. When Funk Flex dissed me, right? That's the biggest DJ in the country. You know what I did immediately? I went right back at him, right back at him. Went to the club, I'm shouting him on the microphone. Yo, Flex don't want this. We going back and forth, we trolling back and forth. But I was a DJ. He was the big homie DJ. Can't We don't have to express ourselves via the art. So when I go to the next club, I tore him down on the mic. Then I go on the internet. But we, was, we had no voice about it. When the big homie shoots at you, and y'all have a voice that you can use on a song, use that as a moment to regain attention. Because if you diss him and it diss is good, then they go back to your Spotify, your Apple Music, your Amazon, and if you got good music, you're back popping. Y'all playing the chessboard all wrong. All of this go to Twitter. All of this go on the internet first. Hello, go rap. Y'all are rappers. Find me one lie.